Hey guys, how you doing today? So, we are picking up where we left off on my last live stream on Friday, March 5th. <laughs> um, so basically, we finished up the main contracts on Alaska, and all we have left are the logging contracts, which... Um, they came with the last update. Uh, you know, these aren't part of the main contracts. Even though they are part of the GR Enterprise, um, all the contracts that, that were kind of base game, those are done, and all we have left in Alaska are the, uh, the logging contracts. So we started the airfield logging, and I already delivered one load of long logs um, to the sawmill. I have another load of long logs on a truck ready to go but we also need two medium logs and those are over here at the log station um so let me see the best way to get there probably right up through here so what i did was i bought this thing here this is the Pacific P12 Orca M181. Um, if you guys have watched my last mod review, this was the truck. Um, I felt like this was a good one to get because it's got that log carrier add-on on the back of it, which we don't have yet in the game. And also, you can carry the log trailer. So we're going to be able to take both loads in one trip. So that is a huge plus. And we don't need the handbrake on, so... Let's get going. And we have the other uh, quasi tires on here. So this thing is going to be OP, guys. You know, no doubt about it. But that's all right. We just want to get these jobs done. Now, this truck has diff lock on all the time. And it's got switchable all-wheel drive. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Mine's going pretty well. We're uh, kind of in the the part of the year where winter just wants to hang on. Like we get a couple nice days and it's such a tease and then it gets cold again. And, um, you know, I'm pretty sure that we're going to still see some snowstorms in our future. But hopefully we'll be coming out of this winter weather pretty soon. I'm... Uh, I'm ready for some warm weather. I cannot lie. Ready to get back out and do some fishing. I didn't do any ice fishing this year. Really wasn't that interested in it. Um, again, with all the snow that we had, it just makes it difficult to walk out on the ice. So let's just take a quick look to make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, we definitely have to go over the bridge. So I would say I'm not expecting this job to be too difficult, but we all know how that goes. Um, the road that goes to the sawmill is a horrible one. So I'm probably going to go the long way around. And, uh, yeah, guys, we are almost done with Alaska. Um, technically, I don't have to do these missions, but I just, uh, I just figured get them done and get them out of the way. But the good news is, I don't have to stay in Alaska. Um, we can revisit this. We can head on to the Yukon, which we're going to be doing next. That's the next map we chose. We're going to be heading to the Yukon, and we're going to start those jobs. Um... And we'll come back and, and do these separately. Because uh, I, I, uh, I need to see a change of scenery here. I've seen snow in Alaska for a very long time. And although I think the map's a beautiful map, I am just a little sick of snow. Right. Here's the log station. Very uneventful trip. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Let's just engage the all-wheel drive. Because we know these log stations 
are pretty horrible. Now with this one, at least we don't have to line this up perfectly like we have to do with the uh, the one for the long logs. So medium logs trailer. Can I be packed to the wrong position of the trailer? Really? But why? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> there we go. Very strange. Very strange how that has to be perfect like that, but... Anyway, we got that, and now we can head off to the sawmill. Okay, so we have a little option here. We can go this way, or we can go this way. Uh, I mean, I don't feel like going this way is going to cut out all that much more time, so I think we'll just keep on the road that we're on, actually. sawmill and yeah just like I guessed it's a pretty uneventful trip but um you know what I'm okay with that <laughs> and actually I just feel that the longer that I play this game I just get used to um the physics and stuff like that so I'm not having as many like rollovers and stuff as I did when I first started playing the game which is fine by me Okay, and why did that register two medium logs? Why did that register two? That's, that's strange. I don't get that because, huh, that is strange. Okay, guys, so all we have to do now is get the other truck. So I'm just going to leave this here and we'll hop in that one. All right, so here we have the International Paystar Twin Steer. We had the little log, log, long logs on here. Jeez, that's hard to say. <laughs> Ooh, pardon me. And um, what I think we're going to do... Uh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. But I think we're going to try to go up this road. And cut over here. So I'm going to mark that. And you know what? It'll be a good test for this truck. I don't know what to expect. Um, a lot of your vanilla or base game vehicles get stuck on this road. They're, uh, they're not very well equipped for it. But considering that this is a truck that we got in Wisconsin, and I feel Wisconsin is a lot more extreme of an area than Alaska, 
We're gonna try it. Um, if worst comes to worst, I have a vehicle that I know can pull it out without a problem. <laughs> so, uh, we shall see. Now, what I'm gonna do over here is I think I'm gonna try to stick to this far side. And maybe that was a bad idea. Well, hey, look at it. We're still moving. And... I feel like these logs... Yeah, these logs are trying to tip me. Oh, Nose first right in there, so... And this is usually the spot, man. It really is. This is just... There we go. If I can find something to grip... And... It... Boy, it just... It keeps wanting to do the same one. Ah. Uh... Like I say, literally every base game vehicle wants to get stuck in this spot. It just doesn't want to do it. And of course I forgot to equip this with the, uh, the new gearbox. But uh, shifting it down to low seems to be helping. We are pulling it out, so. And those first set of axles on the, uh, the back, the trailer, they were barely moving. Now they're moving, so now they must be getting some grip. And actually, this is a twin steer, so I really don't know how this is going to work, if I can even make the turn. This will be very interesting, guys. Very interesting indeed. On my live stream, I had to tow the truck I was using, and we got stuck on that stump right there. And I was using the Tega, and the Tega got stuck. If that's any indication of how bad this road is, but uh, this uh, this twin steer is doing pretty good actually. Drop it back in low. Of course, this is a heavy load it has on it. This game loves turning dark on me, I swear to God. So now, the sawmill is that way. This road is so bad. This road is not bad, so I was thinking of coming up here and coming down. So that's what I think we're going to do. We're going to play it safe, guys. We're going to play it safe. If I had something OP, like the, uh, the IX Heavy Wrecker, I would go that way. But with this, I just, I don't know, I don't feel too good about that. Alright, there is the road that we need. So yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like I actually chose the right path here. Um, if we would have went the other way, I feel like we would have probably gotten stuck. 
and I would have had to went to the garage and grabbed a truck to pull us out. So I'm happy. I'm happy with that decision. One thing I, I tend to forget when I end up using mod trucks more that when you get back into the vanilla trucks, you really need to watch the fuel. Because the fuel on this is uh, it's going down pretty fast. But nonetheless, we are here. We made it with our last load logs I say that's a job well done and I've been promoted again wow rank 28 we are ranking up fast these uh these logging contracts boy they give you a lot of XP uh 1610 XP 18,200 cash excellent here take your reward you deserve it wow we will definitely take that Alright, so, guys, I think that's where we're going to end this video. Um, what I plan to do is kind of mixing up some shorter videos with longer videos. Um, and again, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I feel like once um, it's all edited and everything, it's going to be a little shorter than our normal videos. Of course, when we get into the, uh, the contracts on the Yukon, you know, videos will get longer again. But I'm going to try to add in a little more shorter videos with the longer videos uh, but before we go let's just take a look at the other job so we have three more to do so it's a long way to the top deliver to the sawmill in the mountains so we need to do two medium logs and two long logs and we got to deliver that to mountain river timber uh, we have to deliver these to northport medium logs times two long logs times one and far, far away, Pedro Bay. Ah, okay. Warehouse landing. One medium log and one log log. So that's a uh, long log. Jesus. Um, okay, so th those don't seem too bad. Um, we will be working on those. But as I said, guys, I think the next video, I think we're heading to the Yukon. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I hope you guys are excited about that as well. If you are excited about that... Hit the like button. Uh, tell me in the comments below that you're uh, excited about it. You know, tell us goodbye to Alaska. Um, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tag that little bell so uh, you'll know every time I upload. Or you can always join my Discord. It's a fun place. Um, you know, a lot of easygoing people there. Um, you can always get um, notifications of my content through my Discord. And with that, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time. Now I have to sell all these trailers, and... Well, I guess that little logs is coming with me on the next job. <laughs>